What's up, hey? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS device running iOS 8.1.3. 8.2 and 8.3 on your Macintosh computer. If you want to learn how to do this on a Windows computer, there will be a link in the description for that. Anyways, as of the release date of this video, there is not a Taiji jailbreak tool available for Mac. However, us Mac users can work around this by using Parallels to emulate Windows on our Macs to run the jailbreak program. If you're excited to jailbreak your iOS device using a Mac, make sure to click that like button and without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, getting Windows on your Macintosh computer is fairly simple, but it will take some time. So make sure you follow each step that I do very carefully. To begin, head into your favorite web browser and go to Parallels.com, as this will be the application that we'll be using to run Windows on our device. Now, you can either buy it, but you can just try it for free if you'd like for a free 14 day trial by entering your email address. And this way you'll be able to use the Windows client to jailbreak your iOS device and that's pretty much it. If you don't need it for anything else then just go ahead and get the free trial just as I am doing now. The free trial does take some time to download, it honestly depends on your internet connection but you can go ahead and download it by selecting download now and once it's done downloading you can go into your download and open the .dmg file that you just finished downloading. This will have the parallels application within it and just go through all the steps of opening the parallels application is just like any other application and then you can go ahead and register by entering your information by selecting register entering it all and then instead of entering an activation key on the bottom left you're going to select get trial because that is what you want to do if you're using the trial version or maybe you bought it in that case then you should know what to do once you get to this screen what you want to do is go ahead and run windows 10 at the bottom left um, this is completely free from the trial so you can just go ahead and click that click continue hit continue again select your language more than likely it'll be English and then just continue and select download now this is the lengthy process it downloads a pretty big file um, of Windows it does require a good amount of disk space on your Macintosh device roughly 25 gigabytes however if you're only using this for the jailbreak you can go ahead and delete all the programs once you're done jailbreaking your iOS device if you don't plan on jailbreaking it again now for some reason after the whole process which will take some time roughly 45 minutes if you get a black screen afterwards like I did simply shut it down and restart it by going into actions at the top and select shut down. Once you get into parallels go ahead and open the Spartan download client and paste in the URL the 64 bit iTunes download. You can check to see which bit Windows 10 has downloaded for you but more than likely it was the 64 bit so just paste that in the URL download iTunes and continue. Make sure you download this iTunes linked in the description below or else this tutorial will not work and you'll receive an error towards the end of the jailbreaking process. Once you have iTunes then you'll be good to go. It'll be just like a normal Windows computer and we can head into the jailbreaking process which is fairly simple. So switching over to my main computer that also runs Windows on a Macintosh device, make sure that your iOS device is on the latest iOS 8.3 and that it was updated through a computer and not over the air. If you updated to iOS 8.3 over the air, then this jailbreak may not work. So just to be safe, go ahead and back up your iOS device and update to iOS 8.3 via computer using iTunes. Once you've gone ahead and done that, then you can open your preferred web browser and go into the URL and type in taiji.com backslash en. This will be the website that we'll be using to download the jailbreak tool and this is the website of the creators of this amazing jailbreak tool which was taiji and they deserve a ton of credit and just appreciation for the effort that they put into this jailbreak tool and offering it for free for all of us to download by simply clicking on download taiji jailbreak tool. Once you do that, the Taiji jailbreak tool will begin to download and of course the download speeds does depend on your internet but it should not take too long so once it's done you can go ahead and open it by selecting the .zip file then double click the .zip file one more time so that you can get into the application, open the application and select run. 
Now it'll set up everything that it needs to set up for the jailbreaking process and once it does that it'll ask you to connect your Apple device. Connect your Apple device and make sure you select the Windows 8.1 option when connecting your Apple device as this is a virtual machine and it'll know which is the right one to put it in. Once you do that, it'll ask you to trust your iOS device as it's a new virtual machine. So go ahead and select trust. And if you have find my iPhone on, you'll have to turn it off by going into settings, general iCloud or settings iCloud and turning off find my iPhone. If you already have it on, then that's completely fine. It'll take you straight to the next screen which will say start jailbreak. But before we actually start the jailbreak, make sure you uncheck 3K Assistant if you do not want to download the 3K Assistant application, which I would recommend that you do not need. Just keep Cydia checked and select start. Now the jailbreaking process will begin. However, a big problem that a lot of your users find is that when it gets to 20%, it'll just stop and you'll have to quit the application. And to solve this problem, you have to uninstall four programs these programs are the ones that i'm uninstalling on the screen and you can find a detailed tutorial on how to solve this problem linked in the description below or you could just follow along with what i'm doing on screen but if you did download the itunes that i told you to download earlier in the tutorial then this problem will not occur for you and then at the 20 percent mark it'll just continue restart your ios device like nothing happened however i will keep this part in just in case there's anyone that does encounter the problem then they'll know what to do if this does happen but again this probably will not happen to you and at this moment your jailbreaking process is probably past the 20 percent part and still going but if this does happen to you, once you solve the problem, just do everything that we did up to this point again, and you'll see that your iOS device will restart and easily get past the 20% part. And from here, it's pretty much smooth sailing. You shouldn't encounter any other problems once you pass this part, and it'll just continue to do the jailbreak. And if you have a passcode on your iOS device, when, it'll, when it restarts, it'll ask you to unlock it. So go ahead and unlock it if that does happen to you. But again, once you get past this part, it's smooth sailing from here. This jailbreaking process takes roughly 15 minutes to just go through all the percentages and do everything that it needs to do to jailbreak your iOS device and install Cydia on it. But once it's done, it'll restart your iOS device one more time. And upon turning on, you'll see that you'll have Cydia on your iOS device. And this is how you can go ahead and get your jailbreak on your iOS device, even if you have a Macintosh computer, although there is not a specific Macintosh tool available for the Taiji iOS 8.1.3, 8.2, and 8.3 jailbreak. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, then please leave a like as it's greatly appreciated, as well as share this video with a friend and show them how they can jailbreak their iOS device with this simple tutorial. Finally, if you're interested in some more awesome videos like this one and more jailbroken content, make sure you click that subscribe button as I make iOS tutorials like this one every week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.